first of all, we are, we are the five-time champion of the boys soccer competition in Ashanti region here. We are second to, I think, say GKC High School. Mm -hmm. They are the eight-time champion, we are five-time champion. All right. We at High School Life would want to know the secret behind how you guys are able to win continuously or consecutively the sports activities. Okay, I'll say it's hard work and determination. Are you sure there is nothing like anything else? Somewhere? Nah, we only have God. High School Life. High School Life. Bringing you an interview here on High School Life once again as the beautiful campus of Edu Genfi Senior High School. And I have here with me the girls prefect of the school. You're welcome. Yes, yeah, thank you. Gazette, please, can you tell our beautiful audience your name? Yeah, my name is Patience Boache. Patience. Boache. All right, Patience. All right, so today we'll be having a simple conversation with you concerning this beautiful campus. Okay. Okay. All right, starting off with the conversation, we would want to know how the school came about. So can you tell us when the school was established? Okay, Addition of you was established in 19... <laughs> 1968. 1968? Yes, Alright. By the Presbyterian Church. By the Presbyterian Church? Yes, Alright, that is in the town of... Jamase. In the town of Jamase. Yes, Alright, so that means Edwidge and is situated in the in town Jamase. of Jamase. Alright, that, that is impressive. Um, what was the population when they started this whole institution? Okay, they were 80 students. When they were 80 were, students? They were 80 students when they first established the Okay, impressive. So what do you think was the reason why they established the school? Okay, they were in the second cycle section in Jamasu, so they wanted to create a cycle here. Okay, so there were no schools, that is, there were no secondary schools as at that time? Mm, yes. Okay, okay, so they established this one for the town. Yes. All right, so that is very impressive. Coming on the campus, we realized um, from the town to this place is actually quite a distance. Yeah, it's true. Are these stu day students? Yes, yeah, yeah, so many day students. The day students are many. Yes. Okay, that is, we stay off campus. Yes. All right, so as to this moment or this period, how many students do you think we have now? Okay, you're having about 5,000 plus students here. About 5,000 plus, plus students. Plus students, yeah. And then of which accounts, males, how much or? Okay, I would say the females are many than the males. The females are many? Mm -hmm. Yes, than the males. Okay. So the females will be over 1,000 and the males will be about 2,000 plus. Okay. Moving on, we want to ask you, why would you, or what, what would you advise for someone to okay, Eddie John is one of the best schools when it comes to academics and when it comes to football too. Yeah, I would say we are the best because you we are, are having yes, we are having five times to park on championship. That, that is called the middle. Yeah, that is called the middle. The middle games. The middle games. Yes. Is it only in Kumasi or the whole of Ghana? I was saying in Kumase, when Kumase. it comes to Kumase, I sound to Okay, so if we as High School Life um, are getting you correct, Abidjanfi is known for sports. Yes. You guys are very good in sports. Yes. As compared to academics, which one do you think? I would, I would say one. Okay. But, yeah. You guys are good in academics and good in sports. I know when it's come to sports. Yeah. All right. All right. That, that is very fun. Okay. Moving on, we also wanted to have a conversation with you about how day-to-day -day activities happens in the school. At what time do you start class and what? Okay, we start class at 7 o'clock, then we close at 3 o'clock. Then we have intervention from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Okay, having other conversations elsewhere, you realize that it is a particular school that most people think it is um, instituted with the mindset of sports. But having another conversation, we realize that you guys have preps the whole mm. of the week. Yes. What is the reason behind that? Okay, we want to improve our academic work. So you guys want to improve the academic work, that's why you have press throughout the whole weekend. Wow, that is very impressive. And now, to the major question. Okay. Was Edu Genfi your first class while she's in? No, it was my second class. Edu Genfi was your second class? Yes, but I prefer me school, so when I had it, I was very happy. So oh, I really? prefer me school, so. Would you be happy with your school as your school? Yes, please. Okay, that's also very impressive. 
All right, moving on, we would want to have a conversation with the voice prefect as well. Make sure you don't tune, continue to subscribe and like this video as you watch. We'll be back. High school live. High, high school live. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Still with the inside chat with the prefect of Edujan Senior High School. Yes, the main voice prefect. You're welcome. Thank you very much, sir. All right, so what's your name? My name is Honorable Boache Samuel Barak. All right, Honorable Boache Samuel Barak. All right, and what course do you offer in this school? I'm a general science student. General science student? Yes. How many courses do you guys offer? And I think for now, we offer general science, general arts, home science, and visual arts, so four. Four. And business, and sorry. Business. So making it five. Right. Which particular course is 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 efficiently known to perform best at? Okay, I think that would be the general arts. Efficiently known for the for the general arts. Yes. Class. What could be the reason behind that? Because currently we are having uh, sixteen general arts classes for the final year students. So I think definitely general arts is the dominant course on campus here. All right. Looking at the current governmental um, admissions in schools. Um, I realize the second year schools are not around. Is it only the formats and things that are currently in the school? Yes, sir. All right. And is that helping? Do you think that is good for education or something? Okay. Frankly speaking, I think that's not helping our second year students because they miss a lot. And the time they spend here on campus is a little bit smaller than the time they spend back home. So it's not helping their academic ways. Okay. And I think we as um, students, we can't do anything about that. Yes. That is a governmental yes. um, decision. All right. Moving forward, um, I realized that the school is particularly known for sports. Yes. How many times have you guys won something from the sports? Okay. First of all, we are, we are the five-time champion of the boys' soccer competition in Ashanti region here. We are second to, I think, say, GK Senior High School. We are the eight-time champion. We are five-time champion. All right. We at High School Life would want to know the secret behind how you guys are able to win continuously or consecutively the sports activities. Okay, I'll say it's hard work and determination. Are you sure there is nothing like anything else? Somewhere? Nah, we only have God. So, but are you trying to say the other schools don't perform well or they don't also have hard work too? <laughs> what do they do? I'm not trying to say that, but it's like ours is unique. Okay. We make sure that our, pre uh, our players have been well uh, catered for before they are sent to the stadium. All right, all right, all right. Moving forward with that, um, we had a conversation with someone. This is like a gossip. Yeah. They were like, the sports boys don't go to class. They will be on the field in the morning to evening. Is that true? No. no. How do they combine their academics and sports? Okay, first of all, we make sure we have a detailed schedule time for them. So we make sure the time the when it's time for training, they move to the field. And when it's time for classes, they come to their various classrooms for uh, academic work. Okay, so would you say the sports part of the DJP has really improved upon the public high board? It has high the school um, in Ghana? Yes, yes. So it is just sports? No, it's both sports and academics. Like, are you very sure about that? Yes. Okay, we are taking that from the boys' perfect and then the boys' perfect is saying it is not just sports that has improved or given the school the public the publicity, as you guys know, but then there's also academics, they do very well with their class. Um, moving on, you know, students, they like food and all that. How is the dining? Okay, I think we are serving the mo uh, one of the best meals in Ghana right now. Yes. Are you sure you're not trying to convince us? No, 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 no. All right, that is also very impressive. We are glad we had the conversation with you guys. Okay. But then moving on, um, if you have any shout out to give to any executive or anything, the platform or the program is yours to give. Okay, I'll say a big shout out to my SRC patron, Mr. Ennis Osei, and my fellow SRC executive, the vice president, the time in chief, the main girls, the main boys, preferred organizer. Big shout out to everyone. All right, that was a summary of um, giving a shout out. I know you didn't want to mention names yes. in order to be, you know, to be bashed or something like that. Yes, yes. It was nice having a conversation with you here at high school life. We are glad you came. Thank you very much. Alright, moving forward, we want you to subscribe to the channel. Watch us as we bring you on our our telecast every weekend. You we end here and also make sure you follow us on all our platforms. It is high school life once again. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Oh yeah, education at its best. With entertainment. Huh.
Campus Live High School News Only on High School Live <laughs>